Hello again, everybody. Gary Furman and Matt Shodell here, and this is your Kane Sport Recruiting Minute. Uh, might need more than a minute for this one, though, because things are exploding at the University of Miami right now in terms of the recruitment of transfer quarterbacks. Uh, Will Howard from Kansas State, um, a guy that we identified really, uh, Matt Shodell, what, about 10 days ago or so as one of the top couple guys in the portal, he has come into Miami today and has uh, is taking a visit to the Hurricanes. And then we've also learned that tomorrow, Cam Ward, who universally is the number one guy on the board of transfer quarterbacks in the country, is expected on the Miami campus tomorrow. So imagine this, Matt Shodell, when we were evaluating these guys a week ago or so uh, and identifying the, them as candidates. Who would have ever thought that Miami would be able to get really two of the top couple top guys, maybe the top two top guys on campus this week for visits, uh, hopefully landing one of them to be the quarterback for next year. Just an unbelievable job of recruiting by Mario Cristobal and his staff. I mean, look, let's not over overplay it. You know, this is the NIL era. These are bidding wars, right? I'm overplaying it. I'm sorry, man. I am you fired us, up about what this. Do you do? I am excited. So to me, you've got to get Cam Ward. And, you know, Dante Moore also, he wants to visit as well. But Dante Moore would probably sit out a year and be the next guy up because, you know, Will Head Howard, Howard, these guys have a year left. Uh, so to me, it's Cam Ward or bust. You know, it's great they brought Will Howard in, you know, um, and Miami's going to have to try to get – I'm sure Miami's top choice is Cam Ward. Miami's had top choices for coordinator before they haven't gotten, right? This is the guy they need because there's a huge difference to me between Cam Ward – Who's projected, you know, would be a third round draft pick, probably third pick, third round draft pick, probably versus Will Howard, who probably would be undrafted, maybe a late round draft pick. There's a huge difference, and you don't want to be forced to overpay for Will Howard and just get Who's a more multi color. projections are you reading? What are you saying? <laughs> so there's there's a, a website that tracks every single website's projections for the draft, um, and they're okay. saying that these guys are, are third round picks and non draft. No, 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 no. Cam picks. Ward would be a third round draft pick, not Will Howard. And Will he Howard would not even get drafted. Late round draft pick, yeah, yeah. Wow. He's he's, he's struggled. I mean, he struggled. Let's you know he he had it. All right, he was, listen, you're you're smacking me back into place. I'll admit it. Uh, this was only supposed to be a minute. We're now going in four. <laughs> but, well, I'm trying uh, to find the website to tell you the actual. I will, I will consider myself smacked back Here into place with those nuggets. All right, hold on. Let me. Here's Will Howard. I'll look him up again. Hold on. All right. Well, while you're looking, let me there's, say there's a, there's a mock draft database, is what it's called. So I'm. All right, I, well, while you're looking, I already have it up. I have let it up. Let me say so, a couple of things while you're looking. Well, it's already let here. Let me have November, a little November 18th. And Pro, football, Pro, Pro Football Network on November 18th projected to go 192nd overall. And prior to that, he's in, you know, he's in the 160s, 170s, 180s, you know, somewhere in there. So, all right. Well, let me say this. Okay. Look, I agree with you. Cam Ward's number one. Cam Ward's number one on everybody's board. Okay. So we'll, we'll, we'll agree on that. But what if you don't get Cam Ward? Cam Ward's also expected at Florida State this week on top of the other schools that are trying to recruit him. Everybody in the country looking for a quarterback wants Cam Ward. Okay, so uh, I'll agree with you is number one. They may or may not win this battle for Cam Ward. And if they don't, I like the fact that they are also in the mix for Will Howard. Now, one of the other things that we reported uh, today was uh, that Dante Moore is interested in Miami. He's more of a developmental uh, guy, uh, even though he played a lot for UCLA this year. They rushed him, really ruined ruined. They shouldn't have played him this year. He wasn't ready to play. And they kind of went off track with what the way things were supposed to go with him. And it didn't go well. So uh, they know they need a developmental year, okay, in the Dante Moore camp. And and um, they really would like to consider Miami. So um, we don't know where that one's going to go here as the next week or so marches forward. Right now we're focused on Will Howard um, and Cam Ward. Uh, the two visitors here Monday, Tuesday, we'll see what happens with them. Uh, I'm a little bit more excited about this than that, because I think it's a good sign for the program that they were able to get two of the top guys in the transfer market to come visit. Okay. They may or may not win. Well, no predictions there at this point. Um, but it is a positive move for the program that these guys are interested in Miami and we'll see where it goes. So for Shodell, no, let me say. So for negative Nancy Shodell, I'm Gary Furman. 
Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, everybody.